He was convicted in August 2016. That's just two years ago. Given a five and a half year sentence. Yeah. How come he's due out? Uh, because you do half. But it's a 10 year maximum sentence. It's insane. So, what do we do? Here's a man who poisons young men's minds, who radicalizes people, who supports the terrorists, who's an enemy of this country. We release him, we put him in a safe house and put him on benefits. Can't he work? Ella, you don't think he should even have been imprisoned? Mm. He's clearly dangerous, his ideas are dangerous, we've seen the results of that. So how can you argue that he shouldn't have been punished? Well, everything that Jerry said is, is true. This guy has not got pleasant views, he pledges allegiance to the Islamic State. I can't imagine an opinion worse than that. However, he was put in jail explicitly for language, for not actions, and it amounts to what a spiked we call thought crime. I mean... It's it... not thought, it's hate crime. He wants to put the Islamic flag Islamic State flag over Downing Street. Yes, he is. Right? He supports a terrorist organisation that's committing atrocity after atrocity. Mm -hmm. That's not free speech. That's hate speech. That's inciting hatred, violence and murder. Actually, it's not inciting. He inspires, he influences. What's the difference? These are the words. There's quite a big difference. Well, explain it to me. Because it's about freedom of speech. So... Everything that you're all saying is completely true. I mean, you, you, there's not words to describe how horrible this guy is and how horrible his mm. view is. But the point is, you never fight the principle of freedom of speech on the easy cases. It's always the incredibly difficult, the incredibly painful and upsetting cases. The way that he has influenced uh, and radicalised people in this country is shocking. But the point a is that it's... jihadis he's believed to have directly influenced. There is... And, the, and the influence... Jihadis. Jihadis. 15 terror plots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, and what, look, what point I'm not your... defending this guy's views. What I, I love defending... freedom of speech, Hang on. but not when it leads to inciting people to murder. So That's that... not freedom of speech. My whole point is that that... That but is a very important but. In the case of Anjum Chowdhury, it was explicit. All reports say that he was put in jail because of language or actions. There was no, no Jerry, proof. No, there was right. no, no proof that he, he was linked no, to. No, he, was he didn't find his hands no, on any bombs. No, 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 it was about no, no, his no. beliefs. No, no, Ella, that's he put not him the in offense. jail because of his that's beliefs. That's not the offence. Section 12 of the Terrorism Act, and that is promoting terrorism. In other words, organising mm. meetings. And he radicalised the guy who killed Lee Rigby. Mm. Perhaps a hundred people. He wants. Do you know? I don't care if he says the flag should, of ISIS should mm. fly over Downing Street. I do care when he glorifies the martyrdom, as he says, the people responsible for ripping bombs. Why is London. this guy even in our country? What's he doing here? Look, why, why are we not able to throw these people out? He hates Britain. He hates Western life. He wants to encourage terrorism. He wants to, to promote ISIS. What is he doing here? And he's on even benefits. On, I mean, he's on benefits. Hang on, so even on a... Let, let's, if we can, park the principal case that I'm making, even on a practical side. Um, earlier this year, in April, the government released a press release saying that it was very worried about the radicalisation within prisons. Yeah. There's been a 75% uh, rise in radicalised uh, prisoners. Right. There's an issue with... Uh, with young men, predominantly, being in prison, being radicalised by people like... So Anthony you're Chowdhury. worried about people like him going into yeah. prison and having an affair? I don't, you segregate him, and that's what happens. I don't think... So you wouldn't, jail, you wouldn't jail anybody with ISIS in that sense? I wouldn't jail anyone for their beliefs of supporting ISIS. If really? You, if you... Because How the whole point them, is... Then? The whole point is, I think, we're looking about this the wrong way. So the way to deal with certainly young men who are in danger of becoming radicalised is not to lock them up, but is to make sure that they have different points of view that you get... It's actually a political... So He's wait, way you, beyond so that, Ella, though, Ella, just to clarify, you'd wait until they blow somebody up or cut someone's head off? No, and I think it's really unfair to say that I would... Uh, Why? In any way Why? You don't want to put any, kind of any radicalised jihadis in prison? I, for their beliefs, for if you support... But if their beliefs lead to you, murder, if their belief is, I want to kill people, you have to protect the public. Look, I'm making a really, really principled, very clear freedom of speech argument here. And I'm making a very that, clear response, I think it's that, nonsense. No, which is that, if you, you should never be jailed for your beliefs, if you then act on those beliefs that are proven to be in conspiracy... But what about if someone else acts things, on them? If you, if we, if we're saying that you can be jailed for influencing someone, for inspiring someone, that's a very, and very. That's what he was stop. jailed for. And failing to stop. Take it, take it to a different example, right? Let's say it was a radical left wing um, speaker. Let's say it was a radical right wing speaker. It, it just because it was uh, someone like Anjum Chowdhury, who absolutely rightly gets people's backs up, and that's putting it lightly. I mean, this is a guy that should be nationally, internationally hated. 
whether or not he should be put in jail, that okay. is a free Jerry speech. Jerry Hayes, issue. what evidence do you think there is that two years in prison might have changed him? Yeah, it's not because changed. if he's because if he is him. in any way rehabilitated, then after then two who, years, Ray? then great. But he's made it absolutely clear, and it's been all over the papers. I will continue. Now this is a job for Javid, the Home Secretary. He mm. wants to be leader of the party. He wants to protect the country. Let him change the law. The prison ministers, Rory Stewart, yeah. recently warned that Chandra remains a deeply pernicious destabilising influence and said that police and MI5 would have to watch him like a hog. Mm. What is happening to this country it's when people like this are just freed after two years to roam the streets, Hang spreading on. their hate, He's not allowed whipping to roam. terrorism? He's banned from Hyde Park. He's forbidden <laughs> oh, to oh, use oh, the oh, internet. Oh, uh, he's barred from meeting oh. associates and he gets of Al Jarrun. He's Ridiculous. given a house. Look, can I just, this is mad. I mean, if also, if you ban, if in relation to what effect this has on on radicalisation rates, um, if what you're doing is locking up a guy for what he believes and what he you're says, not. that hang on, that is the case. That is what's happened. He's been put in jail for language, not actions. Right? Then what that's saying to mm. all of his uh, people on the edge, people who would be supporters on the outside. You know, he is then saying, look at me, I'm an enemy of the state, they're locking me up, it glamorises him. He was and jailed, he was, at the time of his... Censorship his only at makes the time of his jailing, Chowdhury was linked to 15 terror plots dating back 20 years and had connections to hundreds of British jihadists who fled to Syria to fight in the name of ISIS. I mean, at what point does your love of all things freedom of speech, which I share in many regards, right? I'm a journalist who believes passionately in freedom of speech, but at what point do you say, no, sorry... You do not do this on our soil. You do not whip up terrorism and promote terrorism and help terrorists. We are going to deport you and throw you out of this country. I think that we. I think that the problem is if we throw freedom of speech under the bus for someone really? like Andrew Chowdhury, what we're doing is is giving him what he wants. He doesn't believe in a free society. He believes in a society where people will be killed for saying the wrong thing. I mean, he is an extreme mm. uh, enemy of freedom. We do his views a justice just... by attacking freedom. Yeah. We are meant to be a free society. Just, in this just say Herr Hitler and Herr Himmler were still alive, and just say they went onto a campus and they started preaching we must exterminate the Jews. Do you think they should go to jail? Of course. Well, That's hang on. Not well, well, let her answer. OK. No, I don't think anyone should go to jail for what they say. This so is even if point. a Nazi had gone to a university campus and said we should exterminate all the Jews in Britain, you would still not want that person jailed or deported? No, I don't think they should be Even if it led deported. to a, a, that's an a, attack? That's, a, that's the difference. So if you can prove that someone is conspiring or a part of a plot to enact danger and action, that's different. What if they're inciting as other I people understand to do it? it? I'm not a lawyer, but as I understand the case, he was locked up on the basis of no. language, not action. No, I mean, no. that is Jerry, what no, it was, it was in every incitement. The offence is organising meetings to promote these banned organisations, to promote I... the sort of things we despise. OK, we're a tolerant society. Sometimes we're too tolerant. We all yeah. believe in oh, the no, freedom of speech. Oh, no, we can never be tolerant. But this man has yeah, crossed the line. Do we tolerate the intolerance? Be... So no. it's, it's about, if you are a free society, you, you want to be a free society, I think we're in danger of not being a free society these days then you have to hold fast on something like freedom of speech. And that means something like an incredibly difficult case like Allowing hate. Do you, do you drive, Ella? Yeah. Do you wear a seatbelt? Yeah. Do you have insurance? Yeah. You have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you allow the state to put limitations yes. on your freedom as you drive a car? Yes. You actually allow a number of infringements on your so-called freedom every minute yeah, of your life. Yeah, and I believe in speed limits and traffic right. lights. So you allow well. yourself to have all those infringements on freedom for safety reasons. Mm. But you don't want to stop the public. You want to stop the public being protected we're talking, from a man like this who about... actually used to run Al Mujahirun, the prescribed terrorist group. He was in charge of it. Yeah, I mean, we I mean, know he's a terrorist. About, we're not talking about driving. We're talking about the realm of ideas, hateful we're ideas. We're talking about saving lives. Ideas. And it's the same but where thing. Do you there draw is the no line? proof. There is also no proof. There is no proof that locking him up would save lives. What there is proof. Why, is do, that you lock any, why do you lock anybody up? Is that locking why do you lock him up anybody would up? be an infringement? Ella, why do you lock anybody up? To protect them from society, to protect society. You, and you don't think locking him up would protect people from society? The whole point is, is or you've got a way, you've him. got a weighing up here. So you've got on the one hand, okay. you've got this guy who's dangerous. Fine. But on the other you... hand, you have the principle of freedom of speech. Where do in you a draw the line? All right, Where I have to draw the line. Don't draw lines on freedom of speech. I have it's to draw... with no ifs. And we have to draw the line. Okay.